Okay, this video is about the quadratic formula. It's a really remarkable result in mathematics, really. Um, and it says that for any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where well, these are just numbers, that solutions to, the, to that quadratic equation are given by this formula. It looks a bit complicated at first, but really we just have to plug the numbers in. So it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And we'll get to what this plus or minus thing means with an example. Uh, but um, quite remarkable. So all the stuff you've done with factorizing probably already, uh, actually, in a way, um, although that stuff is really useful uh, and you can't go without it in some situations in maths, if you want to just solve a quadratic equation, you don't really need it. You can just do this. And actually, for a harder version of factorizing a uh, a quadratic, I might even use the formula here to come up with the answer so I can work out how it factorizes. But we'll come to that, let's have a look at an example. So here we go, I want to solve 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. Okay, well, we've got a is 3, b is 7, and c is 2, and it's exactly in this form. So the answer is exactly in this form. Okay, it's x is minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2 all divided by 2 times 3. So I've really just replaced these numbers with these numbers and uh, you know remember that this means 4 times a times c so I just put some time signs in there as well. Okay so uh, let's work out what this is so this is minus 7 plus or minus and this is 49 minus 4 times 3 times 2 is 24 all divided by 6 Okay. So, 49 minus 24, that is 25, and the square root of 25 uh, is just 5. So let's replace all of that just with 5. Okay, And uh, this is then... Now, what this plus or minus thing, we need to know what it means. It says, so what it means is there are two answers here, and we get one where we use the plus sign. Okay, so it's minus 7 plus 5 over 6, okay, so that would be minus 7 plus 5 over 6, that's minus 2 over 6, that's minus 1 third, okay, and we get another answer where we do the same thing, but we take the minus, so it's minus 7 minus 5 all over 6, so that's minus 12 uh, over 6, which is minus 2, okay, so there are two answers here, minus 1 third or minus 2. And this one's come out nicely. We could also have done this one by factorizing, actually. It would have been 3x plus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0, and we'd have come to the same uh, conclusion. But we can just plug it into the formula, and that tells us the two values of x that work. Or sometimes it could be only one value if this thing in the square root is 0, and sometimes there actually aren't any solutions. Uh, the thing in the square root might come out to be negative. But if there are solutions, this will find them you do need to be very careful using the formula and there are a few ways that this can go wrong um, especially if you're using the calculator and I'm going to demonstrate one of those now and I'll do it by just making a very simple alteration to the example so instead of plus 7x here I'm going to have minus 7x okay, now the first thing to notice is that this formula has plus everything in it so this means that this is like plus minus 7 so the minus, the minus is part of the blue number uh, if I want this in exactly the same form I'd have to write it as plus minus 7. So b here is minus 7 now. So this is the knock-on effect of the formula. Okay, So instead of putting in 7, I put minus 7. So I get minus minus 7, right, which is uh, plus 7, plus or minus the square root of... Now, minus 7 squared, it's, it's the whole of b all squared. So it's minus 7 squared, so that's still plus 49, it's not minus 49, okay, and minus 4 times 3 times 2, that's still minus 24, and on the bottom here I've still got 6, so this is very similar, to, I've ended up with something very similar to what I had before, um, and it's 7 plus or minus 5 uh, over 6, and um, so either 7 plus 5 over 6, which is 12 over 6, which is 2, okay, so this is either 2, or uh, 7 minus 5 over 6, which is 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So they're the two values of x 
Um, I should say, uh, I shouldn't say, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, so x is 2 or 1 third. So here's the most common mistake with quadratic equations, and it's about using the calculator. So, the thing that people do wrong most of the time is they go to this formula, they say, okay, minus minus 7, that's 7. Let's do the plus 1 plus the square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. And I get a math error. And I'm doing a test, and everyone puts their hand up and says, Sir, I've got a math error, the formula's wrong, it's broken, can I fix it, help me, my calculator's broke, etc. And um, uh, so, can you spot what I've, what's gone wrong here? So, when you type this into the calculator, what the calculator does is minus 7 squared, right? And if you do minus 7 squared, that gives you minus 49, because it does squaring before it does the minusing. So, Actually, if you're typing this into the calculator, we just need to do minus 7 squared like that. Okay, so when I type in my formula, it's 7 plus uh, the square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2, and that gives me 12, and I've still got to divide it by 6, of course, for the bottom. But um, there we go. So big uh, potential mistake there, try to avoid that. Actually the nice thing about this calculator, if you've got the silver calculator, is that uh, it will also check these answers for you, and as far as I'm aware this is allowed, this calculator is allowed in most uh, GCSE exam boards uh, for the calculator papers, certainly for our edXL GCSE it's allowed, and um, if you go into its equation mode you have to learn how to do this, but you choose this third one here, which is a quadratic equation. You can just type in the values of a, b, and c. So that's 3, uh, minus 7, and 2. And then uh, it tells you the answers x is 2 and x is 1 third that we, that we came up with here. So uh, not a bad investment. These calculators are only a few pounds more than, uh, than, than these calculators that most people have. But uh, a good uh, investment, there's lots of other things in terms of solving equations and statistics and things, uh, especially if you're going on to do A level, I really recommend this one. Okay, so here's another example. That first one came out with really nice numbers, let's see if this one does as well. Uh, 5x squared minus 11x minus 2. So firstly, we recognise what the co what the coefficients are, so A was 5, B again is minus 11 because it's like plus minus 11 times x, so that's our, that's our b, and c, again, it's plus minus 2, so c is minus 2. So let's plug those into the formula here. We've got x is equal to minus uh, minus 11. Remember, all the stuff in black stays exactly uh, uh, as it is. We don't change that at all. Plus or minus the square root of, now be careful here, it's minus 11 in brackets, squared. For showing you're working really here, you should have brackets here. If you wrote minus 11 squared without the brackets, that's how people end up making that calculator mistake because, uh, and it also makes your working incorrect because it does mean what technically what the calculator does. Um, we want bracket minus 11 squared, minus 4, now uh, times 5 for the uh, a, and then times now minus 2. I'm going to have to go off the side here for a second. And then all divided by 2 times 5. So, uh, let's sort this out then. And actually, because of the sort of mistakes people make on the calculator, I, th I think at least the earlier part of this uh, is best to do without a calculator. So, I'll show you the point where I would advise starting to use the calculator. Minus minus 11, that's plus 11. Plus or minus the square root of 11, minus 11 squared, so that's 121. Now, minus 4 times 5 times minus 2, so that's 20, that's 40. And it's minus minus, so it's plus 40 all divided by 10, and this is then 11 plus or minus the square root of 161 divided by 10. People that don't use the calculator up to this point tend to do these a lot better. Um, so now I haven't got a nice number in the square root, so depending on what sort of exam you're doing, what sort of question you're doing, you might be asked to leave it in this form. Um, it might say leave it as sort of a plus or minus the square root of b over c or something, and that would be in the right form, or we might want it to two decimal places, say. So let's say the question says solve this, giving your answers to two decimal places. At this point I would reach for the calculator um, and uh, forgetting for now that I've got the calculator that will just solve this anyway, uh, we've got 11 plus the square root of 161 and I need to divide that by 10 
So we can press this S to D button uh, here to turn that into a decimal. And now round it off to two DPs, that'll be 2.3, and it rounds up to 7. So we've got X is 2.37. Um, and the other answer here was 11 minus the square root of 161. Divide it by 10 and turn it into a decimal. Uh, so we get or minus 0 0.168. And to two decimal places, then that would be minus 0 0.17. And there are my two answers. So I've still got two answers here. And this is the power of the formula, you see. Hopeless to try and factorize this. It won't work with any any remotely nice numbers because the solutions are not nice numbers at all. So uh, we have to use the formula and then we get still get these two different values of x. Okay, just one more quick one here. Um, to Okay, just delete a few seconds before that. Here's one last example just uh, to say something else that can happen. It's quite an easy one really, but x squared plus 2x plus 1 is 0. So let's do it without the colors here. I've got a equals 1, b equals 2, and c equals 1. So that gives me x equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1 so that's minus 4 all over 2 times 1 which is just 2 so here I get minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 0 over 2 now square root of 0 is just 0 so uh, this one only has one answer because whether I do plus or minus 0 I get the same thing uh, it's just 0 so it doesn't have any effect so I just get minus 2 over 2 which is minus 1 so there's only one answer here for x x is minus 1 and you might have noticed uh, that this quadratic actually factorizes as x plus 1 squared is 0 uh, from which you can see there is only one answer minus 1 uh, as well as so just to say you, know, you usually get two answers for and most exam questions will have two answers uh, but you know you can end up with just one answer or if this thing in here is negative uh, you know if this actually if 4ac if I just change this so it was x squared plus 2x plus 2 is 0 then I'd have a is 1, b is 2, c is 2, then I'd still have everything here except c has changed to 2, so this would be 4 minus 8, so I'd have the square root of minus 4 here. And that's when you put it into the calculator, you get a math error, there's no number that's the square root of minus 4. And usually if you're in an IGCSE exam or something, or a GCSE exam, you've probably made a mistake like I pointed out earlier, something like that. Uh, but it, it is in, in general true that quadratic equations either have can have 0, 1, or 2 real solutions depending on the numbers. Okay, uh, was in an exam, unlikely to ask you one like that, so uh, check your answer really carefully if you think that's happened. But in terms of doing maths, it's an important thing to be aware of. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can now use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. But I do just want to do one last example. Just to make the point here, 3x squared is minus 5x minus 1. If the quadratic isn't in this form, we must start by putting it into that form. So let's write it as 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. And then, you know, these terms are all in the right order. x squared, x, and the constant term. I can now say a is 3, b is 5, c is 1, and continue as before. So if it's not all equal to 0, put it all equal to 0 first. Then we have uh, here x is minus b minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 3 times 1 that's 12 all divided by 2 times 3 is 6 uh, so that's minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 6 and again you could put that into your calculator and round it off if you need to um, I won't do that here I just wanted to make the point that uh, this formula only applies uh, to a quadratic if it matches up exactly to this situation here and that formula usually I say I think is in the formula book for IGCSE on Excel, probably is for a lot of other boards as well, but check your exams. Usually you're not made to remember that at GCSE, but you might be um, uh, as you go further on. And I do recommend memorizing this if you're going to do any amount of maths or science. This comes up so often, use it all the time, worth committing to memory. Anyway, that's it. That's the quadratic formula.